Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and today I bring you Loot from 1000 Scurious. Released on January 24th, 2024, Scurious is the Rat King of the Varrock Sewers. Now, don't judge this first kill too hard. Uh, this was actually the second it got released into the game, so I wasn't sure what to use, but definitely don't use a fang here. Uh, we'll get into the weapons in a little bit. But Scurious can be fought either in a public room with a group, so you can get fast to kills per hour, but it is a little stronger. Apparently, the solo version is 200 combat with 500 HP, and the group version of this boss is 250 combat with 1500 HP. Now, I actually didn't know that because I read that off the wiki, and I only did solo. That's why you see it in the title there, because it is up to you. You know, if you want to go with a group of friends and camp this or your clan, see who gets the pet first or just want faster kills an hour. But another benefit of soloing is that it is an instance, so I didn't have to worry about anyone crashing or just too many people here in general. Now, early on, I realized the Fang just wasn't it for DPS, so I went with the Ursine Chain Mace, which does cost a little bit of money to use because of the Ether, but I noticed that it was just very accurate here, so that's what I went with until I received my first Scurrious Spine drop, and with that spine obtained, I can then make a better mace than the Ursine Chain Mace. So this is just a temporary weapon, and my gear setup was bound to change as well throughout this grind, but before we continue, this video is brought to you by War Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus. With tactical, fast-paced battlefield gameplay in the palm of your hand, you can assemble and lead over 60 champions from 15 playable factions. You can also fight against or strategize with other players in high-stake battles, and if you need any help, you can join the passionate community of Tacticus players. Since launch, Snowprint Studios introduced fresh content, exciting features, new game modes, challenging events, and a choice of over 60 champions, there are currently 15 factions, each with a maximum of 5 playable characters. Each faction belongs to one of three alliances, Imperial, Xenos, or Chaos. With an average rating of 4.5 in the app stores, Tacticus is now the go-to game for top quality mobile tactical gaming. Play anytime, anywhere in this fast-paced PvE campaigns and tightly competitive PvP battles, and also in massively collaborative boss fights under your guild banner. So, the real question is, what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description to play Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus today. You can download it on the App Store, Google Play, or Samsung. And a huge thank you to Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, those sponsors really do help out the channel, so I appreciate you guys checking them out. But either way, let's continue on with today's grind. As you can see, the XP per hour there, 133k an hour with the Earth sign chain mace and it looks like we already picked ourselves up a long bone just uh you know you can kind of see the drops here very average but not below average you know we're receiving an adamant plate body some loose rune items like the square shield the med helm as well as the full helm chain body and battle axe those are all one in 16 so it is smart to bring high alk here but you guys know me unless i'm camping in one area for too long uh, i will bring high alk in that case but for here i banked you know somewhat often so i just picked up everything i did keep all the stackable drops, adamant arrows, rune arrows, chaos, death, and law runes in the inventory the whole time, so you guys can kind of, you know, if, as you skim through the video, if you're a skimmer, or if you're just watching the video itself uh, in full length, you'll see that grow from start to finish. Now, I did want to extend my trips here, and I figure, all right, I'm not going to be making much profit from this boss, regardless if I use that many supplies or not, so I'm just really going to try to go for the most kills an hour here. So I did make the decision to swap out my amulet of torture for a blood fury so that I can heal myself and get more kills in inventory so I don't have to eat so much more food. Well, here we are, 100 kills into the video so far, 900 left to go, and we got another long bone, but we still haven't gotten our spine, which is a 1 in 33 drop, and there it is. Yeah, I was looking for that. Took a while there, 111 kills. So now we're going to upgrade the Ursine Chain Mace to a Bone Mace. Now, I know the Ursine Chain Mace looks a lot more intimidating, and it even has a uh, special attack, but the Bone Mace, it's much more powerful on the rat, so although it doesn't look that intimidating, intimidating and it doesn't have a special attack to go along with it just check out the accuracy difference here i did record a full kill for you guys and yeah i just see it a lot more accurate and i'm hitting higher so i don't mind it at all and you don't use any ether with this so you know cost free to use you just have to obtain it from the rat boss uh and since it's one in 33 it shouldn't be too challenging and another cool feature about this mace is all these small rats that spawn usually for me it's twice a kill sometimes it's one if you're fast enough but you can just one hit them all instantly so it's really good strength xp you can 
see that XP quickly add up 80 strength XP per hit, and it made me a big fan of the mace. Uh, they also have a new bow and a staff that was introduced with this boss. You can just use the spine on a battle staff or a spine on a U short bow to create that style of combat. Whatever you want to use here, it's up to you. And later on in the video, I did actually try out the bone bow as well as the bone staff, so you guys are going to get a little bit of everything here. You're going to see the kills per hour with each different setup, but since I was prioritizing the bone mace early on, I figured since I was crushing, I might as well just get as much crush bonus as possible, so I went ahead and got full inquisitor, I swapped out my fire cape for a mythical cape, and I swapped out my rings as well, but I did keep the primordials. Now, if you're curious of my kills per hour here with this setup, it was about 44, and with the bando setup, it was about 41, so I was getting more kills an hour here, but not everyone can afford inquisitor, so I would say it's only worth purchasing if you prefer this setup. So many different ways to kill this boss though, and they're all very similar as it goes for kills per hour, so I would just say go with your preference. As you can see, the drop table is uh, med level friendly, I would say just like the boss is, so for med levels, you can certainly get a good start on bossing by coming to this rat boss, and you know, it makes you practice prayer switching, as well as a lot of other things, so I'm really glad that they introduced this into the game. It does remind me a little bit of Seracnus, I would just say it's much easier than Seracnus, and I am a big fan that they added a pet as well, which is one in 3,000. We are now 200 kills into the video, and we're only killing a 1,000, so we're not going to even get uh, halfway to the drop rate of the pet, but you never know. It would be uh, really cool to get this pet since it's so new to the game. Now, today is January 31st. I told you guys that this boss came out roughly a week ago, and they did make some changes that are very important to mention because this was not a thing when I was killing it. For example, the rat boss now drops medium clue scrolls, which is 1 in 25, and it's actually my favorite tier clue to do because of the profit with ranger boots and just the quickness of the clue itself. So I am very upset that I wasn't able to stack up 40 medium clues for this video. That would have been awesome, uh, but that was an update today. So I guess that's what you get if you, you know, start right when it comes out. But other than that, there's now five combat achievements here, totaling eight points, uh, and they all look relatively easy. So yeah, something to keep in mind if you are hunting down for some combat achievements. Now you do get food drops here, uh, trout, tuna, and lobster, as well as sharks and cheese. And you can also eat from the food pile once every 10 minutes, I believe. So that's a little boost. Uh, that's the food pile that the rat eats from. Kind of nasty to share food with a rat, but it is what it is. It'll give you some HP back. And if you're curious as to why I even needed food, why I was bringing a Blood Fury, when you can actually take very little damage uh, at this boss if you're just praying correctly, switching prayers from protect melee to range and magic as needed. Well, I didn't really kill the boss this way. I went with the AFK way, which is where you just pray melee the whole time and you can do this with magic or melee, but I just preferred using melee because I was, of course, on multiple accounts. So that's why this wasn't done that efficiently, but it was still done effectively. 600 kills into the video. Now let's go ahead and try out the range setup. I basically have max range minus the Missouri top. Uh, I was currently flipping it. Believe that if you want, but here we go with the hits. You can see the DPS is wild. Accuracy on point since this is a bone bow designed to be more powerful against uh, rats. And if you do have a slayer task of rats, you can actually kill the rat boss. So that's pretty cool for point boosting. You know, maybe you'll get a pet while you're boosting some points. Either way, though, uh, you can see I had thralls essentially the whole time after 100 KC, and I didn't mind the range setup. It was very similar. I believe it was like 40 kills an hour. And now we're going to try out the mage setup, which I would say is my favorite setup of them all, but since I'm currently grinding to 200 mil strength XP, after a brief uh, stint of doing the range setup here, and the magic setup just to calculate the kills an hour, I decided to bank it and go back to melee. But look how cool this staff is. I lo really love the graphics, as especially the animation it brings, and they all have the same effect on the small rats, so that's a huge plus here. Save you a lot of time. So yeah, I would encourage magic, uh, and you know, like I always say, just go with your preference, but there's 159 million strength XP, 41 mil until 200 and believe it or not that's coming up we're doing a lot of combat this year my impressions of this boss though um i really like it yeah i'm really glad that they're targeting med levels and getting them more into pvming because you know there's a lot of future pvm grinds for all levels and all types of accounts that are very difficult so i consider the rat boss a nice stepping stone towards uh you know future pvming as it gets harder and harder over time 800 kills overall wrapping up here shortly also brought a saturated 
Sacred Heart to help my magic defense, but not sure if that's 100% necessary. Kind of goes in line with the thralls and whatnot. Really hoping to get this pet because honestly, I do not want to come back here. You know, this is for med levels. Max people, I'm sure, are, are going to come down here just to get the pet, but overall, I wouldn't say this is a, you know, a boss that I would camp. Just not too fond of the profit per hour here, even if you are very cautious on your supply usage. It, you know, it's still just basic alks. There's nothing too crazy like 1 in 128 or 1 in 1,000 that is of value, but it is great for getting XP. That I will give it credit for, which not a lot of bosses are known for. So, not really my style, but I know you guys love seeing new content, and I haven't seen a 1,000 kills uploaded on YouTube yet, which amazed me because uh, I'm very late on this upload, so I do apologize for the delay, but nevertheless, we have completed it, ladies and gentlemen. 1,000 Scurrious has been killed, but we did not get the pet, so I'm sure one day in the very far future, I will return here, and I'll probably watch this video back to remember what to bring and what to do. Here we have the bank tab, seven long bones, as well as 30 spines acquired, but let's go ahead and price check the overall loot from 1,000 kills, 8.4 million GP. Again, no need to pick up all these items. You can simply bring high alk and get some magic XP at the same time of getting strength XP. This took almost exactly 24 hours, so it's about 350k GP an hour. I gained almost 2.8 million strength XP, but I personally spent around 18 mil on two blood shards and another two mil in runes and potions, but that helped me extend my kills per inventory since I did AFK this for the most part. I did average 40 to 42 kills per hour, and that was uh, the same across the board with basically every setup that I tried, range, magic, or melee. So something to keep in mind, here is the rune light loot tracker. For once, it actually tracked every kill. Isn't that nice to see? 225k GP as well. That Oh, wow, I accidentally forgot to add that into the price check. Well, that's embarrassing, so keep that in mind. You'll get 225k GP. Otherwise, all the supplies were used, and that's about it for today, guys. If you want to help support the channel further, check out our sponsor, Tacticus, today in the link in the description below. And a huge thank you to the continued support of all the channel members with a special shout-out to Deception Z, XXotic X, Angel's Blood, and Necrofear. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very strange loot video coming out for you soon, and I'll see you then. Mr. No Sleep, out.